My name is Allison Tierney, and I am a board-certified oncology dietitian and a cancer survivor myself. So when it comes to this whole cancer nutrition thing, it's not only professional, but quite personal. My favorite thing to do is to help empower cancer patients to help during the course of their treatment to reduce their side effects, improve their quality of life, and just improve their life overall. And when it comes to being into survivorship, we want to focus on reducing their risk of recurrence and helping them live high quality lives so that they can live the life that they want. Now, when it comes to nutrition and how it can help our bodies during the course of treatment or reducing the risk of cancer itself, is we want to focus on a few main things. And the first and foremost is that food and nutrition is not just calories. There's so much more to it. But don't worry, it's rather simple too. When it comes to nutrition, we wanna to try to focus on making sure that we can reduce inflammation as much as possible. Now, when it comes to inflammation, acute inflammation or inflammation in the short-term setting, such as we get a cut on our arm and we see it get red and inflamed, that is our immune system going to help to attack and prevent infection. That is exactly what we want. However, when it becomes a problem is when it's chronic, long-term and persistent this type of inflammation can actually lead to something called DNA damage. That DNA is truly what makes us who we are and tells our cells how to operate. But when that DNA can become damaged, it can often lead to increased risk for cancer and other diseases. But here's the thing, nutrition can help reduce that chronic inflammation. The foods that we eat, especially those that are whole, unprocessed plant foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds have powerful ways to help reduce that inflammation and therefore in turn reduce our risk of cancer. Nutrition can actually help improve our immune system and it can do that in several ways. Our immune system is there to help detect things that are not supposed to be there. Really a proper immune system is going to go out and say, hey, this is a bad cell we need to get rid of it before it reproduces. By choosing those whole unprocessed plant foods, we can improve our immune system to properly identify the things that aren't supposed to be there. Another way that food can help improve our outcomes and reduce our risk of cancer in the first place is actually through regulating our hormone health. As a breast cancer survivor myself, who's triple positive in terms of hormone exposure for cancer, food also plays an incredible role in properly managing our hormones. Food has the power to make sure that our hormones are in the right place, not too much, not too little, and right where we need them to be to help reduce our risk overall. Having naturally regulated hormones is a powerful way to reduce our risk of breast cancer, prostate cancer, and other hormone-related cancers. Now, let's talk a little bit about how we can actually use food to help do these things and some practical steps that you can start doing today in order to do so. First and foremost, eat a wide variety of color. Remember when I was talking about inflammation and DNA damage? The different colors in our whole unprocessed plant foods, such as the blue in blueberries, those are called anthocyanins. These are powerful ways to help reduce inflammation. So the more variety of colors you can consume in your whole plant-based diet, the better protection you can get from inflammation. Now, also make sure that we're focused on fiber. Fiber is more than just having a healthy bowel movement, although that's important too. Fiber, it plays an incredible role in making sure that we're fueling a healthy gut microbiome. And that microbiome is another powerful way to reduce inflammation. So fill up on fibrous foods, such as fruits, vegetables, legumes. There are so many different options. Now, lastly, I want to encourage you that when you're taking these steps to apply to your everyday life to reduce your risk of recurrence or cancer itself, focus on progress, not perfection. It can be really easy to get caught up in being perfect and not eating this and always eating this. Take one small step at a time until you find that you are able to naturally incorporate that into your everyday life and then take the next step, another, another step of progress. Keep in mind is that nutrition is a powerful tool that can help reduce your risk of cancer and its recurrence.